I'm here at Paddle Lake Pau in Antelope Point Marina in Page, Arizona. Getting a rental and heading out to the lower Antelope Canyon. I'm at the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area on a kayak at Antelope Point Marina doing a paddle kayak heading towards the Antelope Canyon it's about a 30-40 minutes paddle to get to the entry point to the canyon just getting out of the marina right now All right, heading into the Antelope Canyon. Leaving the main channel from Antelope Point Arena. It's about 30, 40, 30 minutes paddle. Depends on how fast you go. And that inside there should be a no wake zone. Antelope Canyon. Inside Antelope Canyon. Paddling inside the canyon, which came about only because the water receded so much. Otherwise, you can see the water level would have been way up at the top, and uh, you would not have this paddling canyon paddling experience. This is all flat water here because it's a no wake zone and mostly just uh, kayakers and paddlers in here. When the canyon wall starts to narrow a bit, you know you are getting close to the end of the paddle. And uh, the water gets a little bit more murky over here because of, um, of all the runoffs from the beach ahead. So as you can see, we are getting really close to the landing zone, which is the beach ahead. Arriving at the beach at the end of the Antelope Canyon Paddle. Landed at the entrance to the Antelope Canyon. So right now, going to hike into the canyon for a little bit. Imagine this is filled with water when the lake was full. It's way up there. So 
the lack of water gave way to this interesting canyon that we can now pedal and hike into. So hiking into the lower Antelope Canyon from the Antelope Marina Point, we paddle out to the canyon. Here's a slot canyon, kind of fun. You can hear other people here. Not as narrow as uh, like Anza Borrego where I've been, where you can barely fit through, but this is interesting. Here's a nice view of the Slot Canyon. Would have been filled up with water all the way up to the top. But now we get to play in the Slot Canyon. Traffic jam in Antelope Canyon. There's a part where you need to climb up and taking turns to scramble up some rocks. Continuing into the Antel Canyon, the trail has narrowed a little bit. But you can still see sunlight. Guess I gotta scramble up some more. Gotta scramble up some more rocks here. Okay, should I scramble up or should I go under? I think I'll try to go under and see. Can I get through? Yes, I can get through. Okay, here we go. This is kind of fun for the kids. You have to scramble through some rocks. Continuing in. Emerging from the canyon and getting to the split. You can go left over here or you can go to the right and explore some more and go as far as you want. Antelope Canyon. Heading back out of the Antelope Canyon, done with the hike from the 
landing to the point of the Y is probably 30 to 40 minutes. It's pretty straightforward, uh, not difficult hike at all, mostly flat, scramble over a few rocks, and that's what that was it. From here you get to see a good vantage point of how high the water level used to be. So we've got this canyon to play with because the water level dropped. Antelope Canyon.